Hey guys, Nathan here, Mom's Crew Creator. Today, bringing you some Black Ops 3 beta multiplayer gameplay. Um, today, we're going to be playing a Search and Destroy on the map Stronghold. And I really do like um, how Search and Destroy works in this game. As you can see on the top left of the screen, we have something new. Um, it actually tells you the amount of people that are alive. Um, previously, in other Call of Duties, you could uh, you could look at uh, this by opening up the scoreboard and basically seeing who doesn't have dog tags beside their names or in World of War a purple heart or whatever but in this game now it actually tells you on your screen how many people are alive without having to go into the scoreboard which is really nice so anyways I'm just gonna um, kind of give my thoughts a little more uh, more of my thoughts on the beta um, kinda like I said I would last uh, in the last video um, but uh, if you notice my voice is a little hoarse or different it's because I went to a football game yesterday and I was going crazy. So, anyways, guys, um, uh, based on what I've been saying, or based what I've, you know, as my exp my experience in this game, um, the gun I'm using in this gameplay, the Razorback, was actually nerfed um, about two days into the game. Now, um, when this game first came out, uh, the Razorback was like a three-shot kill to, um, I'm going to say about almost 100 meters which is pretty 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 overpowered and uh, they did some secret nerfing to it and now it's like a four shot kill at a lot of ranges instead of a three shot it's rare to get a three shot kill with this gun um, you have to be really close to somebody and also uh, suppressors in this game they don't just reduce damage they also or wait they don't re just reduce range they also reduce damage so no matter what range you're at you're gonna have some penalty on damage which turns this Razorback into a five shot kill at most ranges unless you're really close to it uh, close to a person then it's a four shot kill unlike um, with the without the suppressor it's a three shot kill at close and usually a four to five shot kill when you're very very far but the suppressor makes it a five shot kill at a lot of ranges so that's something to keep in mind whenever the game for uh, comes out I'm not sure if they're gonna keep this in the game like where the suppressor basically nerfs the gun but um, I wouldn't doubt it because they want um, you know they want constant they want uh, guns up 24-7 uh, and to have guns up gameplay like that you're gonna have to have a lot of action kind of having suppressor and the ghost perk kind of um, limits the amount of action that can uh, happen um, because you know their stealth perks and stealthy people aren't gonna run out in the middle of nowhere and are going Rambo or anything they're gonna you know walk around buildings round. and stuff like that so they don't get caught on radar and it'll be more they're more of a you know flanking people um, I don't remember how good I did in this game it was pretty good though I think um, we all did decent uh, I liked some um, I do like search I just I don't know why um, in advanced warfare I was not a fan of it but in this game search and destroy plays out real well kind of like in all the other black ops games um, so search is definitely one of those game modes I'm probably gonna play a lot whenever the game comes out besides domination and I might get into demolition um, and uh, the beta game mode that was uh, put in the beta probably two or three days in was on um, this game mode called safeguard and I don't know if I mentioned this before but it's like demolition um, spawns but it's way 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 easy to exploit and I don't see them bringing it to the real game unless they really do fix the spawns because it's a one-sided game mode like one person's gonna get all the spawn kills and the other people are just gonna get wrecked um, it really isn't fair to you know <laughs> it isn't really fair to the one team getting wrecked so um, that's all I really have to say this game uh, I really do have faith in it and it's made by uh, you know, it's made by Treyarch, and Treyarch makes pretty good Call of Duties, in my opinion. Um, sure, World of War was a bit crazy with um, the MP40, but, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, all those overpowered guns, you know, that were found overpowered got patched and, you know, adjusted properly. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will let you guys, um... Enjoy the last few seconds of this gameplay. So, see you guys later. Bye. Drop it down. Hellstorm inbound.
Another win for the Accord. RTB. Headed to Exfil. Drinks are